stuck because it seems like your channel isn't growing nearly as fast as other small channels that may have started right around the same time as you did. By the end of this video, you'll have three tips that you can implement right away to start changing that. And be sure to stick around all the way till the end of the video and I'll share with you how I get hundreds of targeted views to my small YouTube channel. Be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload a brand new video every Wednesday. I know how it feels. You started your small YouTube channel at the same time as other people in your engagement pod and their channels are growing and yours seems stagnant. You're doing everything you can to put out these videos every week, right? But you're just not growing. What are you doing wrong? What are you doing differently that they're not doing? In this video, I'm sharing a few tips to help you work smarter, not harder. I'm Kate Murray, and even after working in corporate and agency marketing for 14 years, I started over to grow a YouTube channel from scratch. Currently, I serve as a mentor in Sonny Leonard Doozy's YouTube for Bosses and Authority Accelerator program. So just like you, I'm working on growing my small YouTube channel. Let's get started. Number one, leave thoughtful comments on other people's videos. This doesn't mean watching 30 seconds of the video and saying, great video. That's not very engaging at all. And honestly, it's a waste of your time and a waste of their time. If you wanna get some legitimate response on your own channel, you have got to leave legitimate comments on somebody else's channel. I mean, think about it. Other people are reading your comments and if they just see something generic like, great video, or great job, or very interesting, that does not prompt them to want to click on your name and go to your channel and see what you're all about. The only way you're going to get that audience to click on your name and go to your channel is if you leave a thoughtful comment. So take the time and leave thoughtful comments. Here's a pro tip. If you're leaving comments on a channel inside your niche, make sure you hit that notification bell. You wanna be one of the first people to leave a comment because then your comments will be shown at the very top of the comment thread. If there's a lot of comments, people are not gonna scroll through and read hundreds of comments. They're gonna read your comment first because you were the first person to leave one. So use that notification bell to your advantage so that your comments can be posted at the top of the thread. Seriously, it works. By the way, for all of my fellow bosses out there, this is huge. Most of us check comments on our own channel by clicking on the notification bell at the top right of your dashboard. But listen up, this is important. You absolutely need to go into your YouTube Studio dashboard at least once a week because there may be legitimate comments in there that are held for moderation. So click on YouTube Studio Beta. Then on the left sidebar, click on Comments. See how there are some missing comments in here? Once I happened upon this by accident and found 30 comments in my likely spam category. They definitely were not spam, but a spammer had actually replied to each of these comments, causing them to be marked as potential spam. So if you are one of those people that checks your comments from the notification bell at the top, make sure you visit your full studio dashboard and check your comments right in here at least once a week. Tip number two, we are taught by a lot of online gurus that you need to do proper keyword research and make sure your tags follow the methodology. Your keyword research is very important. So your first step is always to make sure you follow the formula first. However, in this tip, I would like to suggest that you add tags of other high ranking competitors so that you can show up in the suggested box. Here's what I mean. So say I am using YouTube and I'm going to search for Instagram story hacks. So obviously Sunny's uh, video comes up first and I'm going to click on Sunny's video and actually my tube buddy's coming up. So I'm going to scroll down. So in the suggested videos, which will come up to the user, you will see 
all of the other videos that YouTube is now suggesting because I clicked on Sunny's Instagram story hacks video. So her own videos come up, of course, videos with lots of views, but take a look at Vanessa Lau and further down, take a look at Jade, I can't pronounce her last name, or Jillian Perkins. So these people obviously know how to use tags to show up in suggested videos. What they're doing is they're taking a look at Sunny's tags and using the exact same tags. Of course, you only want to do this if the tags are super relevant to the video that you're making, but when you use the same tags as these higher ranking videos, the algorithm will recognize that you have the same tags and you have a better chance in showing up where YouTube suggests what videos that viewer might be interested in seeing next. Have you ever tried using the tags that your competitors use to get your videos ranked? Let me know in the comments below. Tip number three, you've got to zero in on your topic. The YouTube algorithm recognizes what kind of video content you put on your channel. So if your content is all over the place, even within your niche, it will be harder for you to rank for the topics that you really want to rank for. This is true even for me. Broadly, I talk about blogging on my channel, but I'm also talking about other subtopics like Pinterest or email marketing automation. But the reality is the YouTube algorithm recognizes these as totally separate topics. So the more you can niche down and talk about one topic in particular, the better the chances your channel has to rank in the YouTube search results. Now that you've got a solid understanding of tips that you can use to start growing your channel, want to know what I do to get hundreds of views on my videos every week? I leverage the power of Pinterest. Every week I create a couple of brand new pins and link them directly to my YouTube video. Then I pin them to niche boards. Give it a try. Pinterest is a search engine just like YouTube. So as long as you add keywords, I know it'll help you get more views on your videos as well. Want to learn more about leveraging the power of Pinterest to get even more views to your videos? Click on the link in the comments below to download my free Pinterest guide. Thanks for watching. See you next time.